I'm Dr. Vivian Ugwala, your online facilitator for GSA 102 use of English and communication skills to one unit three. This we have different ways of developing the paragraph whenever you are writing a piece of work. Here we are going to discuss development of the paragraph through cost and effect technique. When you are using this method, you have to ask yourself some questions. Why did this event happen? What will happen if you use this method where you want to try to find the cause and effect of an event? That is how one event leads to another. Note that you have to arrange events sequentially and orderly in order for the reader to understand the points you are making. Analyzing the cause of something can be quite a difficult task. When you want to write, you may follow any of these patterns. You may discuss one or more connections between events. You may trace a chain of events in which A is the cause of B, which leads to C and D and so on. Your topic will determine the sequence and pattern of your sentences. You can decide to use simple sentences, compound sentences, or complex sentences but it's more advisable for you to use complex sentences because it makes your writing shorter and clearer. When developing a paragraph which is supported by reason or cause, try to make it clear when you are dealing with an immediate cause or an earlier cause, a direct cause or an indirect cause. Multiple causes, consider multiple causes, account for the links in the sequence of causes. Write about all the causes or reasons with details. Details will make your reader understand what you're writing about. Another method of developing the paragraph is through definition. You use this method when you want to explain something to your reader or readers, especially when you feel something is new, strange, or technical. The simplest way to define a term is by giving a synonym or placing the word in a general class and then distinguishing it from others. You can get such definitions from the dictionaries. Sometimes a definition is used in the midst of other forms of writing, and sometimes the definition itself becomes the focus of a piece of writing. Another method of developing the paragraph is through comparison. You use this method when you want to show how two or more things are alike. Note that we generally compare or contrast two items for three basic purposes. One, when you wish to point out distinctions in order to give information about two things. Two, when you want to clarify the unfamiliar by comparing it to the familiar. Three, when we wish to show the superiority of one thing over another. There are two ways of arranging information when comparing or contrasting things. One, write down all the main points about one of the things to be compared or contrasted and then juxtapose them with the other thing. Two, take each point in turn and compare the two things in respect of each point. In developing your paragraph through any method, contra uh, contrast expressions you can use are uh, either through single words or through phrases. When you decide to use single words, Examples of single words are but, yet, although, whereas, and so on. Phrases, examples of phrases are is different from, can be distinguished from, despite the fact that, on the other hand, and so on. Thank you. Do not forget to always consult your course material so that the points raised here will be made clearer.